program. It got changed. Room E1145 today. Uh, power of love. Oh, yes. Wow. yes. And, and what are they going to learn? Chitra. The power of love. Uh, what they are going to learn actually is what to do with those little par parts of us which are not of love. Can I do mine as well? Yes, absolutely. Yes, and so the, the classes are so intriguing. This is why I have a camera crew to capture every single class so that we can all have it on. Uh, I'm the international correspondent for uh, TTWTV, and so all of Goa, all the events, all, all this here is going to be on, on the TV show. Okay. Uh, I am going to talk on hypnosis. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. And I will give you some basic details of what hypnosis is all about and whether the questions like can I be hypnotized mm -hmm. or will be seen there if anybody is ready for a demonstration. I will be glad to give a demo as well or the entire class can also go into hypnosis. Wow. So that will be something interesting. Uh, this is okay. Sunday morning, 7.30. I have no idea which hall or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that will keep changing. Yeah, it might be other side. Yeah, it will be out there. And I am Shruti Sudhwekar. I'm from Pune. And I'm from India. Okay, yay. This is great. Awesome. Wonderful. And Dr. Rita. Uh, leading with power, possibility, and promise. Women in the 21st century. Tomorrow morning, 9.15, room B. Okay. So that's two rooms down two from rooms here. Down. So all of us are presenting almost at the same time. Yes, yes. Unfortunately. It's exciting. Yes. So much wisdom in the room. I'm Karen Ann Gattas from Divania. I have a class tomorrow. On the cameras. There's one. <laughs> okay, so I'm Divania. My class tomorrow is about how to create miracles, the power of miracles. I've been called the living proof that miracles exist for 23 years, and I will tell you my secret tomorrow. So I don't know exactly which classroom it's gonna be, but it's 11.45. That's okay, we'll, we will find you. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. 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 We will find yes. you. And yes. she's an author <laughs> and a living miracle. What? Oh. We also have our class. See, see. Oh. Yes, we have. Oh, let's so, talk about that. Yeah. So, um, I know you all love me, and you will love Dr. Rita too when you meet her. We are doing a class called Cross-Cultural Communication. And what's it about? Flourishing and thriving in a global community. So how many of you want the competitive edge to work globally, and you want the communication skills so that everybody is just eating out of your hand, and they're like, take me with you, take me with you, I want you, I want you. Yes, that is what we're going to train on. Uh, where are we teaching that? So it's at um, 10.45, and I have to look at where it's. Okay. It's called, it's, it's tomorrow, tomorrow at 10.45, and it's really hour by hour. It's really about all businesses that the most competitive edge is being global. But we don't and have communication it. is the most difficult thing, so it's really about cross-cultural communication and how we have to master, you know, the art of cross-cultural communication to really be successful in business in the 21st century. And then straight after that. We are all, three of us plus two more, are doing the great debate. And we're doing the great debate. Yes. The great debate, I'm going to have it all Whoa. with Juan. The great debate yes. at 45. What would that be about? That's the next one. Uh, the great debate, yeah. I opened up and mentioned uh, that I have these lovely ladies. I will be facilitating a panel discussion <coughs> yes. on can women really have it all. So I actually have two people that are going to say no, and two people that are going to say yes. Yes. And we're going to debate it for an, yes. for an entire hour. Okay. Anything you want to share? When? 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 And then, yes, and I'm speaking today at 11.45 about how our purpose leads into leadership. Very yes, raise that. And that is uh, next door, neighbor. Um, this is C. This is I'm in C. Yes, so you're in C. C at what time? 11.45 today. 11.45. Okay. Yes. So uh, that's awesome. So, and did anybody else want to share theirs? Because yes. this is social media 101. You have to share. If, if nobody knows where your class is, awesome. they can't come learn from you. Chloe Devon? Yes. Chloe Devon. And tomorrow I'll be talking at 7.30 at the breakfast uh, round table, uh, so it's number one. And it says we talk an experiential session followed by meditation, but I will be talking about higher consciousness 
and uh, doing a guided meditation. Oh, I know. That's wonderful. I'm not going to eat breakfast tomorrow, so I have to come to that. <laughs> Anybody else that's a speaker that wants to share their class and toot your own horn? This is good practice. And thank you. This was this was great. I want to work. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Could you raise your hand or why not? We have someone else. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't uh, sign a video release, please um, sign one so I can just take that back to my team. I'm Patty Liston, and I'm from the USA. I have an organization called Standing with Boys, and tomorrow at 10.30, I will be talking about the importance of engaging men and boys in women's issues. Yeah. That is amazing. We need to have more conversations about that, because those men and boys are the ones that are supporting all of our young girls. Okay. The cross-cultural communication is at 10.30 tomorrow in room C. Okay, so let me just finish my conclusions. Um, I know some of you have to go, um, and there might be someone that came in and didn't, didn't get a um, dollar bill, so make sure we, we do that. Um, in, in conclusion, what I'd like to say is that to be your own best publicist, the simple, easy thing is to just be yourself. To be yourself and to be who you really are, because nobody wants to hang around with a fake person. And there are a lot of people in the world that are trying to project something that they really aren't. And it doesn't work. Everybody sees it. Everybody sees it. And everybody notices it. And it takes somebody that loves you to tell you that you're not doing it the right way or that you're not being yourself. But when you're in your true, authentic self, and I know a lot of you are going to be speaking on this topic on consciousness and all of that, but when you really are in that place, you can't help but have everybody be attracted to you. And you're going to have so much success and happiness in business so that the, the message that you project, whether it be on any social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, I gave you just some fun little statistics about it, but have fun with it and enjoy it. And I, I want to share a final thought with you. Uh, my daughter, Brittany, was in a very tragic car accident about three years ago. June 11th will be her third anniversary. She was almost killed. And she was in a coma in a hospital in Los Angeles, California for 40 days. And from the minute that she got hit, uh, the first thing I did was, of course, ride with her in the ambulance. I found her dead in the street, revived her, and we went to uh, the hospital. And the first thing that I did when I got there was, of course, to call my family and let them know what happened. The second thing I did was I went to my Facebook page and I said, my daughter's been hit by a car. She may not last through the night. Can you just pray for her? I'm asking you to pray for my daughter to live through the night. That one post let everybody else know that we needed prayers. And that, po that continued because everybody was so supportive that every night in the middle of the night, I never left her bed side except for to take a shower like once a week. But we had over 35,000 people following on, on a community page, and hundreds and thousands of millions around the world were praying for my daughter. So many healing energies came from so many parts of the world, and I can't even list them now. But my life was changed forever, because my daughter, they removed her skull, and they put it in a freezer for seven months at the hospital. And she was blind, paralyzed, and couldn't move. And I do believe that the prayers that I created because of my social media posts, which some criticized, including her father and stepmom, um, saved my daughter's life. Because the healing energy of love and support that came from all around the world. And there were media crews that came to the hospital. We had 7,500 people a day in the hospital lobby praying, doing all the different forms of prayer, whatever faith, Jewish, uh, Cab Catholic, but every, we had Indian shamans, and we had Reiki professionals, and we had, all of these people came to help heal my daughter. And I am so proud of my daughter because she walked out of the hospital on the 40th day without her skull, and she survived her accident. She went back seven months later, they put her skull back in and did a surgery with 80 staples around her head, shaved her head, and she is a walking miracle. In two months, she starts back to college at UC Berkeley, where she was on a full scholarship before this happened. And I know it's the power of social media and the public relations that helped to save my daughter. So it's a real thing. It really works. 
and I want to thank you for being such a great audience. I'm proud and honored to have been able to, to speak on this topic that I'm so passionate about. And I know that all of you are going to go out in the city of Goa this week and toot your own horn and then take it back to the rest of the world. You can do it. Have a great conference. Woo!